everybody. Welcome back. Got a couple of journals to share with you guys today. Um, just completed these two. These um, measure five and a half by eight and a half. So they're a full size journal. I, the covers were created with uh, file folders. A couple differences. Um, this one, which is out of the air and into a dream. This one I've covered with the um, Tim Holtz um, tissue paper, and then I went back over it with some uh, watercolor, and then it's been sealed with Mod Podge. Um, so that's different to this one. This one's just, I've done some gesso on the cover of this one, and then Mod Podged over that. So we'll go through this one first here. <coughs> I I think these had 64 pages, I believe, but um, I'll put a link below because these will go for sale. Um, this, you know, by the time this video is up, these will be up for sale, and I'll have all the details in it. So yeah, um, various images in this. Most, I think, are calico collage, but not everything. Um, is I, I've just you know went through my stash and anything I thought coordinated nicely I've put in here. So on the front I've just done a little um, some cheesecloth with a little shabby chic clock down in the corner there, and these are just some handmade tags. Um, lots of stitching in this journal. Um, the papers have all been tea dyed. And then um, some of them have been backed, you know. So here I've just done another little tag in this little tuck spot. And this is some very old um, notebook paper that I've got. Uh, here um, I've done a decoupage on a playing card. And then I backed it with some tea dyed paper. And then here's a, another little journaling tag there. Um, some of the papers I've done the hand tearing um, with the ruler I've got. So I've put a piece of the, um, this is handmade paper. So there's a piece of that in both of them. There's some Edith Holden papers, various uh, pages. And then some, uh, you know, vintage book pages as well. Now this one's got a big pocket here. And then um, two pockets here, and it's just full of various um, ephemera. So lots of places to journal in this, um, you know, for writing and, and, and everything. This is Calico Collage. Uh, this was just off the internet. Did some hand stamping on some of the tags. Um, an old doily. There's another little journaling card, and I believe this was a Tsunami Rose um, envelope and a little journal card there. So that's been glued together and, and just um, paper clipped in. Ah. We all know it never works on camera. <laughs> oh, one day I'm going to learn not to even bother. <laughs> I hope everybody's getting ready for the holidays. And I've got my tree up now, so that's good. The house is all ready and decorated. Got to get out now and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So. And luckily, we've had a bit of a cool down, so I'm grateful for that because it was not feeling much like Christmas, I gotta say. Um, just some various tags and uh, tickets. And here I've just done a little Rolodex card, and this is another, this is definitely Tsunami Rose. Like I said, I'm going through my stash and trying to really dwindle down. 
is an old book page that's been included. Um, like I said, lots of places for you to do journaling. Love these images. Another of the Edith Holden and the back side of the um, handmade paper. And this is just a tag I created. Put some sorry silk up there. Another little journaling card. And, and then the back of the signature. I've got um, several journaling places for you tucked in there. So that's that one, isn't it? I love that. I'm really, really... It's been fun to play around with some of the stuff because um, I've not really had time. I've brought um, some of the tissue paper over and today's the first time I've had a chance um, to do a bit of decoupage so that was kind of fun. I'm hoping to try to get in a little bit more in this week. So that's the um, Out of the Air and Into a Dream. That's what I'm going to call these. And this one's going to be Sing Me One More Song. Love this. Really, really love that image. That's um, Calico Collage from the Songbird Collection. Um, same thing on the front of this. I've just put a little bit of cheesecloth down there with a little clock couple of tags, Oops, some more of the vintage book page here. I've done another little uh, Rolodex card, a doily, some more of the um, papers from that kit. Another little journaling card here, and I believe this is Seneca Pond. That was left over from the beekeeper kit. Some more of the um, handmade paper. Now just so you know, this is heavy enough you could do some um, mixed media on that or some watercolor. Here's another uh, handmade card. Uh, just put a little newsprint bag in there for a pocket. I've glued this so that you've got a pocket here another pocket up here and this one and it's just full of various things from my stash. Some more of that old notebook paper, Edith Holden paper, another of the uh, vintage children's book pages. Love this paper. Really do like that hand-torn look. Uh, here I just created another little pocket on that, uh, got some scrap of paper I had. There's the center of the signature with some little butterflies. Beautiful images. And then here I've got a couple more tickets and, and the tags for you to journal on. Lots of lined paper in this. I backed all of these with the lines so that you'd have plenty of writing space. Another handmade um, tag. This is another altered um, jumbo playing card. Love how that's come out. And then on that side is another of the Tsunami Rose little um, envelopes with the note card inside back side of that bag. Some more of that paper. And here you've got some various tags and uh, journaling card. Love these papers. The colors are so pretty. I hope that's showing up on camera. And some more little vintage book pages. And then this is the back. I've just put in a little guest check. And then this little journaling card here. And I did some fussy cutting um, with some roses that I got. Um, I, can't, I don't know what shop I got those from. but And then the, as I said on the back, I've done some gesso and then went over it and distressed it. And then um, Mod Podged it so it's, it's all sealed. So there's those two journals, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope everybody's having a good good week, and uh, be back very soon. I've got another um, 
designed team project for Calico Collage. So I'll be back very soon. You guys have a great week. Bye.